Hey guys, today I wanted to show you how to make uh, football kits using uh, Adobe Photoshop and this can be used just for fun or as most people use it to make football kits for the game Football Manager. Um, I'm going to use the FB kit template which stands for Fanboys Kits which come from the website FM Fanboys so credit goes to them to, for making this, this really cool template which is really fun to work with and so let's get into it we're going to create a fantasy porto kit today so a, a fairly simple kit just to show you the main features about this template and how to make simple kits using the FB kits okay go to your FB kits which you should download up I will put a link in the description and you have this template pack with all the different brands Porto uses Nike we're going to use Nike because they have very cool simple kits and scroll down Nike and here you have all the previews of all the kits the most common ones are in the first one so let's choose Nike 1 to 25 and as you load it up you will have the texture which is this which is really what makes this template very cool it makes them look very realistic then you have the well the actual designs and the shape so first of all let's change the shape color then we'll click on the layer and go to color overlay and make it white and then we can add the the blue stripes which are characteristic of the um, portugal okay um, here you can see the list of templates and these are only number 1 to 25 so there's 25 templates and they're the main Nike templates so you can see this one is the Fulham one if I'm not mistaken then you have the various Juve, Juve uh, this should be PSG Atletico Madrid all these different uh, we're going to use number 4 or 6 I forget which one it is it's not 4 it's number 6 um, with pretty white stripes which I think suit Porto very well so it's all simple you just click on the Nike 6 layer click on this little square and it's going to show up then you expand this and you can see color logos and design color of course is the color logos is the Nike logo and the various um, dry fit and uh, these little tags which you have at the bottom of the shirt in every shirt only authentic shirts of course then um, design which is the actual stripes and so on so let's start with the design here you have four layers so the first layer double click uh, color overlay and yeah it's these cuffs at the end of the shirt I don't really care about them so I think I'm going to take them off just untick the eye layer and you, you can see that they disappear from the kit then we have this one which is part of the sleeves and it's actually this part of the sleeve so let's go for um, white here as you can see it's very simple you just click on color overlay which colors it over and you just choose your color I go for white this time then we have the background of the um, sleeves which I'm going to make blue and uh, you have this really cool feature of Photoshop called swatches which, which you can save your favorite colors so there's also default ones let's use a default blue for example this uh, one which is yeah it is a portal blue so this one yeah click OK and you, you have the blue sleeves now next thing you want to do is click on the on the stripes layer and you can color them over and actually here I made a mistake because uh, to have the blue stripe in the middle I'm going to have to change the shape to blue to our own blue see it's very simple to select it's just there in the swatches and then make the stripes white so I can have the the middle stripe being blue I think this is pretty similar actually to what Porto used last year or two years ago so it's pretty realistic Porto kit then okay let's change the logos it's essentially just the Nike logo we need to change again double click color overlay and you can see that it changes color let's make it blue of course so it suits the kit then, 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 then the color the color usually is the one that takes longest to to change if you're if you're using a template because it has it's the one with most layers because it has this part this part the back and so on so let's start from the top and we have this one which is 
the two things there we're going to make these blue 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 are we yeah let's make it blue then this should be the front part and I think it actually looks cool in white because there's the blue stripes so it alternates the color so I think we're going to leave that white this one you shouldn't color it because it's the shadow so you don't don't change that one then this one should be the back yeah there's a stripe there at the back we're going to make this one white and then we have the back color double click color overlay it's simple really if you're using a template and you're not editing a template uh, which is usually you usually edit a template for more advanced kits it's just essentially coloring in the layers which you want to change then this one you don't change it it's the dry fit logo that's inside they sometimes they list it under color sometimes they list it under logos the Nike ones is always under color so yeah we're essentially done with editing the actual kit so let's go ahead and put in the logos you're going to just open a Google like Porto or Porto logo and you can see all the results for the Porto logo copy the image and paste it in Photoshop then you go control T and uh, this brings up this uh, transfer window so you just hold down shift so it keeps the proportions and drag it so it makes it smaller press enter then move and go to W which is a magic wand uh, I'm going to put 32 here contiguous make sure contiguous is ticked and start selecting the white background so it's not there anymore as you can see it's select the outside of the the portal logo which is pretty good and then hold shift and press in this little white parts that are inside the logo but you still want to delete them then press delete on your keyboard as you can see we have the portal logo now and just control T again again hold down shift and put it to a size that suits the kit usually it's pretty small because if you look at real kits the logos are really small and you put it on this white part yeah I think actually it should be a bit smaller still okay this is perfect just go like this and your logo is there then we can have the the sponsor I'm not sure what the portal sponsor is uh, let's go it has TMN so let's just search this one of course being a fantasy kit you can actually decide what sponsor you put yourself and also like for example use Adidas instead of Nike just for a nice change which is really the point of fantasy kits but for this one let's just use the standard Porto sponsor oops um, again um, press W for your magic wand to pop up and press on the white background shift for the other white background and then delete and you have the TML logo again control T hold down shift and drag it to make it the right size then you can move it to the center of the kit so it looks pretty much perfect so this is essentially it I know it's a very simple kit but it doesn't look too bad I mean it's out of the straight Nike templates here and um, see we have the logos that you can actually change and put effects to them for more advanced kits but this is really a simple tutorial so I'm not going into the more advanced stuff like making your own templates or putting templates together but that's also pretty simple but I think we can we can end this here because I think the kit looks looks cool like this and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope I haven't made it too difficult to understand and to follow uh, in which case just leave a comment to say and I might just redo this tutorial and yeah once again i hope you enjoyed this uh, i'm going to once again give credit to the fanboys website for making the fb kits template which i really really love i hope they also update it for fm12 which i think they're already doing so that's going to be great and yeah thanks for watching guys see ya